30 Minute Missions kits are kind of like the Lego of the Mecha model kit world. They're made by Bandai, so they are fully compatible with Gunpla, which is always a plus. And because of that Lego type vibe, of course you can build them exactly the way that they come in the box, or you can mix and match the parts of various kits to build whatever you want. Today we're going to be looking at the new Evil X-Mac. X-Mac is the name of these particular mecha, and this one right here is the successor to the Porta Nova, and this is the CL Nova. So we're going to be looking at the standard green variant. We're going to be looking at the dark grey variant, some armor kits that will make it look badass. I mean seriously, look at that night helmet and gauntlets. This is pretty cool. And I will be catching up on some kits that I missed, like this BB-8 coloured Alto flight type. We've seen this before, so I'm going to move through that one quite quickly. And one unique thing I have to take a look at today is this cityscape action base. So the idea of this right here is to give the effect that your 30 minute mission kit or Gompla or whatever you like is flying high above a city. Whether or not this will actually work in practice, I guess we're gonna find out. Anyway, as usual, this video right here would not have been possible without those absolutely awesome people over at Hobby Link Japan. So if you want anything that you've seen in this video, there's a link down there in the description and don't forget that code that will get you 5% off. Now here we go. Hey, what is up everyone? And today I'm gonna be taking a look at a whole bunch of 30 minute missions kits. And what we're gonna be checking out is the CL Nova, which is the Next variant of the Evil X-Max, this CL Nova in dark grey, the Alto Flight Type in orange, the CL Nova armor in a multitude of colors, I think I've got four of them right here, a Snowfield Action Base, and a few of these awesome looking Cityscape style action bases. So these are very interesting and could potentially be very cool. But anyway, first up is the CL Nova. So first up there is both variants of the new Evil X-Mac, which is the CL Nova. So once again, this has a very Xeonic feel, definitely taking heavily from Gundam's Zaku. It's got that mono-eye in there. The original release is in green, which is a very Zaku shade of color. But this time it has more of a very alien kind of vibe. Those long arms, thick legs, very broad crotch area and that dome disc on top. This is definitely a very unique looking mecha right here. Of course, if the visuals do not appeal to you, right out of the box. Remember, this is more a series of parts than a complete mecha. You can mix and match this in whatever way you want. Once again, like I said, it's like the Lego of mecha building. As for what comes in one of these boxes, it's a pretty simple setup. We've got the X-Mac itself, a very small pistol. Once again, like all of these kits, this is modular with the three millimeter hole in the side. That little sort of slot joint there, this pops off. We've got another one of those joints there. Actually, can this fit up here for no reason? No, that's a different kind of joint. But once again, you can use this with the other weapons from the other kits, as well as the option sets. And speaking of which, I'll have one of those coming up very soon. As well as that, we've got this little sheet of sticker style decals. This is for basically numbering up your units as these are a kind of army builder kind of mech. They're simple to build. Everything is laid out very simply on the runner so you can build this pretty much blind just after building one of them. So you can just follow this little guide right here and you'll have absolutely no issue second, third, fourth time around. These are called 30 minute missions for a reason because you can pump these out like nobody's business. Hey, you were meant to hold that up. But yeah, these kits are simple to build, they are cheap, and usually don't come with too much in the box. So the best aspect, of course, is to mix and match. And speaking of which, these kits are completely kit bashable out of the box. So if you just take a color that is similar, or should I say the same right here, or any colors that you like, you can just pop the parts together in whichever way you want. So I'm just going to grab some random bits and put them together in a random way, just to illustrate the point. So I'm going to take the CL Nova's torso and head, just because that is new. I'm gonna pop off the legs. I will mention that this has a slightly different joint inside the hips here than the other kits just to widen the legs out a little bit. I am going to take the Portanova's legs here to use with it just completely at random. And I'm gonna take the arms ooh -ho -ho, off of the Alto right here, which have a couple of option set parts attached to it. So everything here is based on three millimeter pegs. So that means this is entirely compatible with other 30 minute missions kits and entirely compatible with Bandai's Gunpla. So these are a great source of cheap parts and awesome bits for using with your Gunpla. Once again, like... <laughs> and 
And there we go, if you prefer a more standard mecha style with those kind of generic legs and arms compared to the big old beefy legs and long old skinny arms, then you can do that just by mixing and matching the sets. Which is something I absolutely adore. That already looks so good. And this isn't even a T-Rex like some people make. I probably should get a little bit more exciting than just swapping the legs and arms. But hey, let's continue. Again, the gun in here is completely modular. Like I mentioned, you just pop this off. If I just steal the barrel section from this guy's gun back here, that can just be popped on like this for a shorter variant of the pistol. That's a very non-exciting example of what you can do, but... It can do that. Yeah, the big old chainsaw with the grenade launcher, guitar, and sword in the side was definitely a better example than that. The articulation on the CL Nova is pretty much what you would have come to expect from the 30 minute missions kit so far, and that is extremely good. Because these are quite basic, but very well designed, you get a lot out of these little guys. So the neck is your standard double jointed giggity 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 goo. You'll get pretty much anything you want out of that. Nothing gets in the way. This looks hilarious. These kits do not include polycaps, this is all plastic build right here. This shoulder section is aligned front to back, so we get there to there. The shoulder right here is a ball joint, so it does exactly what you would expect from a ball joint. The shoulder is somewhat separate, so it can move up and down. A little bit independent, that is a little stiff, but it can move up and down. The shoulder can move up and down at this point right here. We've got that full spin. Next up there is that bend at that very unique elbow, and that's pretty much all you could ask for right there. We've got your typical ball joint wrist. The waist on this is set up exactly the same way. So this is quite a cool joint. It can loosen up quite often, though it's easy to pop back into position. The CL Nova has a very skinny torso, so the ab crunch goes all the way forward like that to all the way back like that. So that is pretty good. Of course, we have some side to side there. Full rotation. There is no side skirting armor on the CL Nova, but this section in there can move up and down if you do attach something on. Simple yet very effective dropping mechanism in the hip zone there. This right here is probably the loosest joint on the kit, and that is a polycap ball joint here. So, when I said there's no polycaps, there are polycap ball joints, just not polycap any other kind of joints, just the balls. Five of them, if I'm not mistaken. So occasionally this can get a little bit like wiggle, wiggle, wiggle like this, but just pop a little bit of super glue on the ball, let it dry, pop it back on, and it'll be grand. So as for those kicks, drop down and up to the front, that bulky armor does get in the way. There is out to the back, nothing in the way there. We've got the full splits, full upper leg rotation. Don't let that chunky leg fool you, got a decent knee bend right here. And then side to side pivot here, and a ball joint down at the ankle. A little bit blocked by that back armor, but the side to side is pretty damn good. Oh yeah, and as for his gun, it's a small little gun, not particularly all that exciting. But what is pretty exciting is the armor sets. These I really, really do dig. So all of these armor sets just come on a single runner like so. So as of right now making this video, we've got four colors to choose from. That is gray, beige, red, and green. And these are all the same for the most part, besides one bit of a difference that divides them into, well, two different kinds. Both the gray and the beige are rocking this kind of knight style vibe. These are for defense operations, apparently. And the green and the red have more of a commander style Zaku vibe with that big old fin up on the head. And these are for elite officers, once again, kind of like a Zaku. So I'm gonna go with the green commander armor on the green CL Nova because it is a plastic match, just to see what that looks like. And I'm gonna go with the light gray on the darker CL Nova because I think it will look pretty cool. But if you're more of a fan of high contrast, you can go with either of these colors on either of these guys. So just like any time we would have seen these before, you pop off the chest, face armor, both of the shoulders. We also take off this radome looking section up top, and we will have to lose one of the hands for that big old gauntlet. So as for attaching on all the armor, it is pretty simple. It just snaps on easy as any of the assembly with these kits. Nothing feels loose, nothing feels wrong. It all fits on quite well. And there we go, there's an example of the CL Nova with the green armor on, and it is a complete plastic match, so this does look like it was just the one kit, so that is pretty cool. We do remove this segment, the radome type segment while we're building this, so this could double as a shield. So I'll just pop it on the back of the arm here so nothing's wasted. And there we go, pretty cool. And about these claws, just like with some Gunpla's skirting armors, these are all attached on the runner, but you can just snip them apart so you've got some individual 
finger movement. Pretty cool. So as for the defense armor, this comes with a completely different chest, a completely different face armor, which has that really cool knight vibe. And these little sections on the shoulder armor here are different as well. And there we go, there is the darker CL Nova with that cool knight style armor. And speaking of being cool and speaking of being knight style, the front segment here can be moved up and out of the way, which is a pretty cool little feature. Once again, this knight style armor is available in beige, and the commander style armor is available in red. If you're curious as to whether or not this fits on the Portanova, the face segment does not. The chest segment does? That's kind of cool. The shoulder armor is your standard attachment that you see on all of these kits, so of course that does attach on. The exact same goes for this hand. You can stick this little fin section wherever you like, so I'm just gonna go with, I guess, the back of the hand. And technically, if you wanted to use the head segment, you can just pull it off, the CL Nova, and then just use it with the Portanova. So next up then is the orange version of the flight type Alto. So we've seen this before on here, so if you want to see an entire review of this particular kit, then you can check out this video that I'm popping up in the card in the corner right now. But for now, I'm just going to do a full old spin of this right here. I do like this color more. It is a bit of an odd match of colors. It's got a bit of a Star Wars BB-8 kind of vibe to it, but it kind of works. It's a lot brighter, you can see a lot more of the detail than we would have seen on the navy version, and this is pretty cool. It is one hell of a set, you get the wings, a standard alto that can be converted into this version, and those guns up on the shoulders. But we've seen this before, so let's move on. So next up then we've got the customized scene based snowfield version, which is exactly what we saw before with the desert one. These bags are just as awkward to open as usual as well. This comes on the one runner, just snip it out like... This does have holes for using with the sold separately action based stock bit and we've got two rocks and two smokes. Honestly though on its own and even probably with a whole bunch of them I don't think these are very very effective. So moving on again. I know man I'm getting more of a icing or cream kind of feel off this as opposed to uh, snow. Now this right here I feel has a little more potential. This is the customized scene based landscape version. See if I can get this out in one seamless non-ripping motion. No, no I cannot! Once again this does come on the one runner and already we can see just exactly what this is doing. So these are some tiny tiny little buildings or uh, are they far away? So yeah the whole thing is to make kind of like not like a giant Godzilla kind of scene but more of a forced perspective. On the insert here we've got an example of what it looks like painted so it is recommended to paint them to make it look a little more realistic and you can combine it with the other scene bases to create something like this right here like a, well I guess, like a cool space colony, Gundam style. So once we cut it all out this is what we get so that is three blocks of this kind of action based stuff this can all be put together in whatever way you like. We've got three interchangeable bits, I guess only these two are interchangeable, you can use this big building with the big buildings, this small building, with the small buildings, or use it the other way around just to kind of change it up. So I'm going to use this larger building with the small buildings, and I'm going to use this smaller set of buildings with the larger buildings, just to kind of mix it up a little bit. As for the little section of park we get, we don't have any choice whatsoever than just to pop that in like that. So by using these included little segments, you can attach these together, just pop that onto the bottom, get your next one, pop it on like that, and these can be attached in pretty much any layout that you like. You can just reverse these diamond shapes to change things up a little bit, and once again this wouldn't be too effective on its own, so luckily I've got a few of these on hand. So yeah, let's decide on how to attach these together. There we go, boop, boop, finally, boop, for this big old giant version. Actually, I'm gonna move this here or it'll drive me mad. So anyway, there is our tiny little cityscape. Let's stick in this here action base stand. Finally then, pop on that flight type alto. So anyway, there is the flight type alto attached onto that landscape base, and this definitely does work. I do feel like you're gonna need a lot of them, even more than what I have here, to make it very effective, but it's still quite cool. It is hard to get in video just how effective this is. What I'm looking at right now does look like it is flying up above a city. So I did take a photograph with a pretty wide focal length just to give you an idea of what it looks like. This is actually quite effective, so out of all of these bases yet, this one is definitely the coolest. 
So anyway, that right there is it for the review, and these kits are always awesome, besides maybe those landscape bases. The city one's really, really cool, but the desert and the snow, not so much. The flight type Alto is just like what we would have seen before, extremely impressive if you like the colors, then you will love this kit. And the CL Novas are really nice, these are unique looking mecha, those thick legs, narrow arms, they're very alien, and getting the optional sets just changed them a lot. The commander, or should I say elite officer style, bulks them up drastically, and the defense style gives them that cool knight look with those evil massive gauntlets. I adore these. As usual, I don't rank these because my ranking system doesn't necessarily work with a line of kits like this that constantly pumps out the same level of quality. But if I was to compare this line of kits in general to high grade Gunpla, I would say they are gold tier definitely. But that's kind of like an unofficial ranking. Anyway, if you want any of what you saw in this review, then the link is down there in the description. You can get yours from Hobby Link Japan. There is a 5% off coupon there if you want to save some cash. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure to come back for more Gunpla reviews and I will see you next time. So once again, I can't end this video right here without thanking each and every one of you guys for watching this video, as well as liking and subscribing. And of course, special thanks to my channel members and patrons, Craig Jury, Kaiser721, Tyler Sanders, Caleb Engelhart, and Sean T.